and welcome to my channel. I am the mama of a nine month old baby and today I'm going to be teaching you tips on how to fly with a baby. My dad is a pilot so I've been flying my whole life and my baby is nine months old and has been on 12 flights now so you're just a little bit experienced although it is still a little bit crazy sometimes to fly with a baby. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips that will hopefully make your flight experience a little bit easier. Bye, 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 bye. Be so my first tip is whenever you first get to the airport, if you can, try um, and check your bag. If you can't, that's totally fine. It will be just as easy to just bring it onto the airplane with you. My second tip is whenever you're going through security, then make sure you keep your stroller and your car seat with you. So whether you're pushing baby in it or just bringing it to um, put your bags in it to carry around, it is going to be a lot easier to make sure you have your car seat and your stroller. Also, whenever you get to the gate, they, you can just gate check it there and it usually is a lot better taken care of rather than just being thrown around the airport. Um, usually the people take better care of it whenever it's at the gate because they realize that it's a stroller and needs to be taken better care of. So whenever you're at security, you're obviously going to be taking things off, moving things around. So if you can, baby wear your baby for sure, whether it be in a wrap or just a baby carrier, it will make your life a lot easier. If not, then just keep them in their car seat. And then whenever you're having to put the car seat in the stroller um, through security, you're gonna have to hold your baby, which is just as easy as baby wearing anyway. So just make sure that you always um, are having your baby on you or carrying them because they will not let your baby just stay in the car seat through security. Also, another tip through security is to make sure that you don't have any liquids, obviously like pre-made formula or anything like that. They will have to take it out and test it or they'll just make you throw it away, which is sad. So um, just make sure that you don't have any liquids in your bag at all. But once you get through security, then you can fill up their bottle if you are bottle feeding. Um, so make sure you fill it up with water and then once you get to the airplane, whenever they're hungry, then you can just put the formula right in it. So now that you're on the airplane, you are going to want to obviously get everything loaded on. If you can afford to get your baby their own seat, then that is super recommended by me for sure because um, baby is comfortable in their own car seat and might even sleep. That's the best place for them to play. If not, then they are totally fine to sit on your lap, obviously, until they are three years old. So that is great. And so make sure that they are secure on your lap or if they are in the car seat, it has to be in the window seat. So strap them in there if they do have their own seat. So my next tip is whenever you're taking off or landing, make sure to feed baby because the air pressure really does hurt their ears and they will get fussy and it's not fun for anyone around to listen to a fussy baby. And so if you can feed them either with bottle or nurse them as soon as you're taking off and the air pressure starts to change or if they are binky babies, then um, give them their binky and hopefully that'll help them suck and swallow as well and um, get rid of the pressure as best they can since they can't pop their own ears. Okay, my next tip is to make sure that you pack everything in the diaper bag so that it's readily available. So extra diapers, extra clothes, you never know whenever they're gonna have a big accident and the diapers are gonna be up in the suitcase and you're not gonna be able to reach them readily available. So make sure everything is in the diaper bag so you can just grab it out I suggest packing um, diapers, wipes, obviously, a change of clothes, toys, snacks, just everything right there, hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, extra binkies, so that if they drop their binky, like my little guy likes to, throw it out of his mouth onto the floor. Um, <laughs> pack sure, make sure to pack 
um, extra binkies or Clorox wipes so that you can just wipe them off right there and there. The next one is to make sure you have toys. Always pack toys if your baby is a little bit older. If your baby's a newborn, they'll probably just pass out and sleep the whole flight. So it won't be <laughs> too crazy, but if you have a little bit older baby that is awake more um, during the day, like my little guy is, make sure to pack toys. I think I brought about four toys. I brought like a little stuffy um, and then a chew toy glasses thing. And then what else did I bring? Um, two other just like squishy things that he could like put in his mouth. So um, my suggestion is to just make sure you pack toys and then give one toy to them at a time, entertain them with it, play with them so that they aren't getting bored too quickly. But then if they do get bored of that toy, you can switch out with another toy quickly and make sure that they are staying happy and entertained and not screaming. <laughs> like a story, know so well. The next one is that if your baby's a little bit older, like my little guy is, make sure to pack some snacks. Um, whether it be yogurt melts or puffs or um, Cheerios, goldfish, anything like that. Make sure that they have things to keep their mouth busy so that they aren't crying, screaming, talking super loud, and um, bugging everyone around them. <laughs> My next one is ask for a drink for them if they are a little bit older as well. Make sure that you can ask the flight attendant. We always ask for apple juice for a little guy. We just put it in his bottle and he slurps it right down and is always happier, makes his tummy a little bit more full and it's delicious and keeps their little mouths busy for a little bit. Another tip I have is if you can plan your flight around when they nap, if they are on a schedule, Otherwise, like my little guy kind of wakes up at different times in the morning and so then his naps are kind of um, different times. So let's say his nap is at 12, I would plan his flight around 12. Otherwise, um, let's say it's at 12 and he's not, he um, needs to go to bed at 11, I would keep him up the extra hour so that he can hopefully fly, fall asleep on the plane if his ears aren't bugging him too much, but he usually does fall asleep. It's usually a shorter nap, but he usually does sleep for just a little bit and that's enough for everyone to keep their sanity, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all the tips that I have for you today. If I think of any more, then I'll leave them down below. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you stayed until the end. If you did, I hope you come back for future videos. Thanks so much, bye.